This video is just a quick video uh, to help people to practice dictionaries and also to introduce uh, one more dictionary function to add several keys and values to a dictionary at once uh, rather than just changing one key or adding by uh, changing a key that doesn't exist and assigning a value. All right. So if you remember to make a dictionary and we'll make the first dictionary and we'll call it dictionary one. Now, you probably shouldn't name your dictionaries or in general your data structures after their uh, actual name. So you probably shouldn't name dictionaries dictionary. Um, I wouldn't do this if I was making a serious program that, I had, that, was, that was supposed to be functional, had a real purpose. I'm just doing it because we're practicing. So let's print dictionary one. Dictionary one. And let's do a type function on it to prove that it is a dictionary. So it should be of type dict, which is short for dictionary. So as you can see from the output in the IPython call console, it is of type dict, which is dictionary, and it is an empty dictionary. Okay. We can add items to this dictionary by this square bracket and we don't have to actually put two uh, quotation marks here and this square bracket will be a key and we can assign it a value uh, let's assign it a value of 453 dictionary one sorry and now if i print dictionary one we'll see that it's of it has the key 33 and the value 453. Now let's say that uh, maybe I want two keys of that have the key value uh, 33. Or two keys of 33, okay, that have different values 563. Well, this won't actually work. What it'll do is it'll alter the a orig the original dictionary key and it'll change the value associated to it. Notice how there aren't two keys of 33. Instead, there's just one key of 33 like before and the new value has been assigned to that existing key. What this shows is that dictionaries cannot have duplicate keys. They can, however, have duplicate values, which I will show here. Dictionary 1, 99 equals Five six three because it's five six three now I believe. Ignore that error that it's trying to produce. It's not a real error. If I print that, you'll see that we have two keys of two different values. So the keys have to be different. They have to be unique. But the values that the keys are paired to can be the same as the values that other keys are paired to. So this the values don't matter, but the keys have to be unique. All right, that's just a little bit of a reminder there. I'm going to clear this dictionary just so that you remember how to clear. So dictionary clear, and this will empty the entire dictionary out. And if I print this out now, it should just be an empty dictionary. Okay. I'll put a print statement here so that you can uh, revise this once you finish with the video. Now then, let's make a second dictionary, but let's not call it dictionary one. Let's have a dictionary of, I don't know, um, tools. So we'll call it tool underscore dict, yeah? Which is shorthand for tool dictionary. And we'll, we'll, we'll put in a few tools. So we'll put in a hammer and we'll put in a colon here, a semicolon. And the, the first item before the semicolon is the key. And the second item is the value that that key uh, has, or it could, in this case, it's going to be a description in form of a string. So it'll be a hammer is used to nail things into a wall or smash a coconut. Of course, we could use a hammer to smash a coconut. So... The first value, the value to the left of the semicolon, is the key. And the second value is the value 
that the key is paired to. So this is the value of it, and that's the key to unlock the value, essentially. This comma here, I think it's called a comma. I'm pretty sure it's called a comma. Why do I know the names of, <laughs> you know, uh, like computer symbols, but not actual ink, the name of uh, symbols used in English grammar, right? Eh? So this comma separates the first key pair value from the next. So this comma, or these commas in general, separate key value pairs from other key value pairs. So this means this is the start of a new key value pair. And say a tool like uh, a knife, we'll just put it here and we'll say that a knife can be used in, used to slice food and also, um, I don't know, what, what else could I do with a knife? Uh, also to open boxes, to open Boxes, maybe, yeah. We could use a knife to open boxes. Scissors. We'll say that scissors are used to. Oh dear. Oh dear. That hasn't been happy. That's not happy at all. Well, we'll just have to do the scissors description here. Scissors can be used to cut things open. Yep. So there we've got three keys. And I think the keys are a hammer, a knife, and some scissors. But this is all so kind of disorganized and it's over a few lines I can't tell. So I'm just going to open that tool dict and I'm just going to check the keys that are in it just make sure that it is a hammer some scissors and a knife yep hammer knife and scissors that's absolutely fine that's exactly what I wanted um let's just have a quick look at the description so tool dict dot values damn okay that's kind of cool we'll add another We'll have another value, shall we? Shall we put tool dict? Um, what's a good tool? What's a good tool? A can opener, I guess. A can opener. Opens up tin cans. Yeah, we'll add that. And what? What? Uh, what? Oh, I see why. Well, I totally messed that up, didn't I? What I was supposed to do is this, but I've totally messed it up there. Used to open up tin cans. Sorry about that. Tool dict is equal to that. And let's copy and paste that just to just to check that those have already come out. So tool dict dot keys there, tool dict dot values there. And that's absolutely fine. We've got our can opener and used to open up tin cans there. That's fine. I can continue now, really. Actually, you know what? I, I, don't, I don't really feel like I want that value there. So I'm going to use tool pop, And we put an argument inside of pop. And the argument we put is the key. So I'm going to get rid of that. That, that can open a key because, to be honest, I just feel like uh, it's not really much of a tool, is it? It's not really a very widely used tool. And we'll copy and paste this just to make sure I pop the right item. Now, as you can see, I have. I just want to quickly look again at the uh, value of... the hammer key. So I'll just use the get function there quickly. And that is absolutely fine. So I'm going to make another dictionary quickly. And what can I make a dictionary of? Um, things I want, things I like. So likes underscore dict. OK, 
Okay, so we'll put, I don't know, the first item could be martial arts. And I'll just put a description of martial arts. Love martial arts since watching Kung Fu movies. I don't know what Kung Fu means. I'll find out one day. Um, number nine. And I'll just put the number nine there. And I also love things that are true. You know, I don't really like liars. Uh, so I'll explain that. I don't like liars. Okay. Not sure if you can actually add true as a thing. I don't think you can. Um, you you can do that, but for some reason I can't. It won't let me add the number nine. That's a bit strange, to be honest. That's very strange. Oh, I know why that is. I didn't add my comma here. That should be fine now. That should work, actually. Yep, it has worked. So likes underscore dict uh dot keys just see what the keys are and likes underscore dict dot values just to check that those values are correct so let's have a look at the keys quickly oh you can have a, a key of value boolean value that's pretty cool could only have one of them though as i say and let's have a look at the values shall we so, love martial arts since watching Kung Fu movies. <laughs> Nine, yep, as an integer. And I don't like liars. Cool, cool beans, absolutely cool beans. Um, you know what? I just want to see all of that, to be honest, in a little list. So I'll just uh, put items, dot items, like stick dot items. And we'll have a look at that. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I might copy this list and try and add a few things with an experimental uh, kind of function that I'm not sure of because I haven't really used it. Likes 2.dict equals likes underscore dict dot copy. I think that's how you do the copy function. I hope so. Wouldn't be very cool if I failed in my own video. And let's just check that likes to underscore dict is the same by getting the dot items values. This shows the key pair in a list of tuples. Okay, so that's exactly the same. Now, now that we've made a few uh, different dictionaries here, as you can see, you know, I think we've had a good practice. Hopefully you guys have been typing along with me. Hopefully I haven't made the same mistakes I haven't were much better at this than I was. What we're going to do here to try and uh, get multiple values added is use a function called update. Now I haven't got a clue if this works because I've never used it before, but we're going to try it. So we're going to have oranges. No, you know what? I really love bananas. You know, oranges not so much. And we're going to put this in my new likes addiction. Uh, Dictionary, not diction. Bananas. I just love bananas. Gotta get that potassium. I can't remember if it's a double T and a double S or it doesn't really matter, so I don't care that much. Just love bananas. Gotta get that potassium. Hmm, it doesn't seem to be liking that. Ah, that's why. Yeah, so you've got to put, for some reason, you actually have to put all the arguments within these squiggly braces in this update thing. And then, once you've added an item, you have to put the next item. So we'll try that. We'll try bananas. Um, linasa. Now, for those of you who don't know what linasa is, it's actually just linseed. Linasa means linseed in Spanish but 
you know, I spend a lot of time in South America, so pretty used to uh, using the Spanish words for things there. Um, one more thing. Let's say Python. I absolutely, you know what, I'll put that part of the argument here. I absolutely love the Python programming language. I'm not sure if this will work or not. It's not come up with syntax error. So let's try it. Likes to dict update. First time I've used that. So let's just quickly, because it is the first time I've ever used it. You know, I'm experimenting. And I think everyone should experiment. But basically, it's just this. So it's dictionary.update. Squiggly lines, and then it's dict key one semicolon dict value one. I'll just get rid of that um, there, followed by a comma dict key two and dict value to okay that's how you actually update use the update function I just forgot when I first typed that you need those squiggly lines but anyway doesn't seem to have mattered now then let's have a look at the keys of dict2 and the values of dict2 so I'll copy and paste this from the original like dict oops and we'll put like stick two like stick two this actually wouldn't compile normally because it's wrongly indented it should be fine now or maybe it isn't likes dict oh likes to dict jeebus gosh all the errors today right let's check the keys shall we so martial arts number nine true bananas linasa and python so the update function is the way that you can update your dictionary or so the reason it's called update is because if the keys already exist and you want to update several keys you can just change their values and update all those keys but if they don't exist it basically adds them to the dictionary along with the values so it could have be called update add but i guess the name update makes sense and yeah this is basically the way to add um, multiple new items to your list that you didn't have or to update multiple items that you already had in your list this isn't you know a comprehensive practice i just want people to get used to writing this down and yeah as i said this is actually my first date time looking at update that, that function update itself i've played around with dictionaries a few times but i've never i've just never used that update function in python for a dictionary so yeah and i would encourage you to you know look at functions for dictionaries or really anything whenever you've got spare time and play around because the only the only bad thing that's going to happen if you play around and it doesn't work is you're just going to get an error but you know you're not going to break your machine at least you're not <laughs> playing around with dictionaries like this for example um so instead of worrying what it's going to be like i mean look I'm making this YouTube video, and if I worry what it's like, uh, that that will come through in the video, and people will want to watch it. But I've got to show me actually uh, doing things that I don't understand or don't know about, because that's part of becoming a good programmer. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.